If you're shopping for a new 2018 Mac Mini, do not pay to upgrade the RAM. Apple's gonna try to charge you almost 600 bucks to get 32 gigs into this thing, but if you upgrade it yourself with one of our kits, it'll cost you half the price. So today, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade the RAM in your 2018 Mac Mini using our Memory Maxer upgrade kits. For this repair, you're going to need a T6 Torx security screwdriver, a T5 Torx screwdriver, a T10 Torx screwdriver, a spudger, a set of iFixit opening tools, some tweezers. We also strongly recommend using a magnetic project mat during every repair you do. Keeping organized during disassembly will ensure you're able to get your device back together again. The mat doesn't come with the kit, but we've got it linked in the description below. And the kit comes with either 16, 32, or even 64 gigabytes of RAM. As always, make sure to follow the guide on ifixit.com while doing your repair. Not only does it have step-by-step -step instructions, but you also get helpful comments and suggestions from other users who have already done the repair. There's a link to the guide in the description below. First things first, flip over your mini and use an iFixit opening tool to easily pop off the base. Below the base, we find six T6 Torx security screws. Make sure to use your magnetic mat or even a piece of paper to write down where the screws came from because you're removing screws with two different screw lengths. Position the Mac Mini so the ports are facing you and then gently lift up on the silver antenna plate. Beware that it won't come all the way up. We just wanna lift it slightly and slide it over about an inch. There's a delicate antenna cable that's attached to the underside of the antenna plate. And once we slide it over, we can see another T6 Torx security screw securing it to the logic board. Once that screw is removed, we can use the tip of our spudger to disconnect the cable. Now the antenna plate can be lifted up and off the Mac Mini. The fan is next to come out and it's held in place by four T6 screws, two of which are securing the fan to the logic board and the other two are securing the fan to the exhaust. You'll also find rubber grommets securing the screws to the fan, so the screws might not come all the way out. The cable that attaches the fan to the logic board is underneath the fan itself, so we need to carefully lift the fan up by the flat edge near the exhaust vent without putting any strain on the cable. Flipping the fan over, we reveal the connector and are able to disconnect the fan from the logic board. We've got a couple cables we need to disconnect next, starting with the power cable. Then we can carefully disconnect the cable for the LED indicator. This is a really small and delicate cable, so make sure you're not prying under the socket itself or you may break it off the board. Next, we need to remove the two T10 Torx screws holding the logic board in place. Now this next step is a little nerve wracking, so take a deep breath. We're gonna be pushing the Mac Mini's internals out of the case. Place a thumb on either side of the exhaust vent over the screw holes and push firmly in the direction of the ports until the logic board unclips and begins to slide out of the Mini. On the logic board, you can see the RAM shield that's held in place by four T5 Torx screws. Removing them will allow you to lift the shield up and slide it off the RAM assembly. And there they are, the removable RAM sticks. Next, push the clips holding the RAM in place outward and watch for the sticks to pop up at a slight angle. Avoid touching the gold contacts and lift the old RAM straight out. To install your new RAM, first ensure that it's oriented correctly by checking the position of the notch, then slide it in at the same angle as you took it out. Press evenly until you can no longer see the gold contacts, then press on both sides of the top of the RAM module until the retaining clips pop back into place. Now all we have to do is reassemble our Mini. Start by reattaching the RAM shield and screwing in the four T5 screws that secure it to the logic board. Next, use both hands to slide the logic board back into the case, making sure that the LED indicator light cable is out of the way so you don't damage it. With the logic board in place, screw back in the two T10 Torx screws that secured the logic board to the frame. Now you can reconnect the LED indicator light cable and the power cable. The fan goes back in next. Reconnect the cable and then screw in the four T6 screws that hold it in place. And just like that, we're already putting the antenna plate back on. Connect the cable to the logic board, then screw back in the bracket that holds down the cable. Slide the antenna plate into position and then screw in the six torque screws that secure it to the case. Remember that there are two different screw lengths here, so refer to your magnetic mat or notes to find out which screws go where. We also have them marked up on the guide for you. Lastly, all you need to do is attach the base. With the ports facing you, position the base so that you can read the Mac Mini text and then just snap it into the bottom of the Mini. And just like that, you have an upgraded Mac Mini for half the price. Don't forget to check out the guides and kits linked in the description below. Happy fixing!